Cheers, Shrinder. Due to the competitive power of your devices has been increasing at an astonishing rate over the past several decades, starting from 1960s and 70s. Since 1971, the first microchip made by Intel just contained 22 bit transistors. But the microchips, starting from 2018, started containing over 10 billion transistors, which is an increase of more than 4 million times. This rapid progress has been predicted by a law called Moore's law, which says that the number of transistors on a microchip will double roughly every two years. You see, thanks to this exponential growth in the number of transistors in the chip, we have access to a, a very good range of highly advanced technological devices, which are smartphones, tablets, and maybe in the future, self-driving cars. Okay, so in this article, we will discuss Moore's law and how is it relevant into this world. So first of all, what is this Moore's law? You see, Moore's law is a principle in the world of technology, which was proposed by Gordon Moore, who is one of the co-founders of Intel in 1965, which is that the number of transistors on a chip would increase roughly every two years. This exponential growth in number of transistors would result in significant increase in computing power of the devices. This prediction has hold true for several decades, starting from 1970, where the number of transistors on a microchip are doubling every 18 to 24 months. As a result, we are seeing an astonishing increase in the computing power. So you see, in 1971, the first microchip produced just 2300 transistors, but by 2018, the latest microchip started containing over 10 billion transistors, which is an increase of over 4 million times. This means that today's smartphones have more computing power than the most advanced computers of 1980s. This has resulted in IV having access to smartphones, tablets, laptops, and other devices that we run on every day. So in short, Moore's law had played a crucial role in shaping the technology we use today and will continue to influence it in the future. It has allowed us to push the boundaries of what is possible and create a world which is increasingly connected. So the question is, is Moore's dead as of now? In the recent years, the rate of increase in the number of transistors on a microchip has slowed down. And the cost of developing new manufacturing has risen. When you are building a new chip manufacturing plant, can exceed $10 billion. Despite the challenges still progress being made, that could pave the way for breakthroughs in computing power. However, it is clear that the exponential growth in computing power led by Moore's law may be coming to an end as transistors reach atomic scale. The key takeaway from this article are as follows. Moore's law is a principle which says that the number of transistors on a chip will double every 18 to 24 months, resulting in a significant increase in computing power, which was proposed by Gordon Moore, who is a co-founder of Intel in 1965. The exponential growth has led to a vast array of technological advances, including smartphones, laptops, artificial intelligence, and quantum computing. However, there is an increasing debate going on whether Moore's law has reached its limit as transistors on microchips are approaching the atomic level. It may be that Moore's law may be coming to an end.